sixth. We're gonna go walk the beach where I walked it in December and see what uh, has transpired. Right now I see a toll booth for the cars and it looks like they put some sand and fixed the ramp coming down here. Picked up all the debris. Got a piece of yellow gear here. It's 93 degrees here today. Of course, you got the spring breakers down here. So if they're playing a lot of music, I may have to go silent in some areas. And uh, just see what's been done. So we have barricades now and not the trash that was here. They just filled in sand. They didn't replace the asphalt. We still have damage over here. And we'll continue down the beach. And I'm leaving Friday, so this is my last run at this, you know, until next uh, year. Yeah, let's get out of these people's way. Beach is looking good. And the wall hasn't been painted. You still got broken glass up there. You got barricades. Really nothing done to this wall. 32. I guess it's 09 or something like that. Ocean. Okay. Man, it is looking so beautiful out here. Okay, the pool hasn't collapsed on Fantasy Island, but the wall hasn't been repaired either. That's supposed to be happening shortly, I understand. Here's the blue-green Fantasy Island, and they've got a temporary wall. I don't know if it's temporary or permanent. I know it's metal, and it sure looks like it's got the wood bracing like you could pour the concrete at the top and give it a cap. And here we come to the state park. Okay, here's that blue-green Fantasy Island. And here's the state park. <laughs> the power box is still hanging in the air. I really expected this to be demoed and pulled apart, but I was wrong. <laughs> Ooh, that sun's hot. Like I said, 93 degrees today. Somebody's picnic table buried upside down. I don't remember that last time. Like guards talking to each other. Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach, huh? Daytona Beach, 2023. Yep, looks like they've done a little work here. At least they pulled out the stuff. I guess they got to start rebuilding the wall. But the pool is gone. That was here. <laughs> and this wall has not been painted or fixed. The rail's sitting down here.
Ooh, I get in the shade here a little. It's gonna burn the hide off me. Okay, the corner's still out, and this vacant lot that had a seawall is uh, really broke down, but nobody's doing anything to fix it. This is looking pretty good as always. They put that little patch in the gate there. But they held up well this storm. We got a little music up here. I may have to go silent with the video so I don't get a thing for copyright. Got some yellow gear up here. It looks like they're rebuilding a wall. So we're up to 31.35 and it looks like right next to it. it looks like a uh, steel walls going up like they did at the blue green uh, fantasy island <laughs> got enough shirts and stuff around here wow it's good to see the activity going on things are getting repaired People standing out here keeping guard so people don't do stupid stuff while they're in there. And we're coming up to the sand dollar, 3115. Dollars looking pretty good. Of course, their stairwell coming down. Of course, it's still broke. We think that'd be easy to fix. I haven't seen much happen at this site. They didn't pick up the trash. Still got the private property, no trespassing. Uzi's open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, lots of people here today. Sure. 
look at all this activity. down there. Okay. Hope I'm not bouncing this too much, but the soil is really rugged. 3101 keep going down lots of cars parked here I don't really know if this is the place for the spring breakers maybe some of them but I bet the lost of them are farther down into Daytona farther north Okay, well, up there I see some uh, metal on a truck and some other metal, lots of sand, so it looks like this might be getting repaired shortly or using it as a staging area for somewhere else. Yeah, this was the lot that had that... Uh, pool heating furnace right there there it is yeah it got moved there's a little opening I've showed in the last two uh, videos People are digging holes. Oh, micro ambition. Okay, they haven't painted back down to the sand. Where it's been missing so it looks like about eight inches more sand you'll be back to where it was before still got the vent windows broken and this is oceans one three zero five zero yeah, it looks like both their stairwells are functional. Oh, the shade feels good. Beach access is still closed. They never built a ramp, and they looks like they've locked up the gate up there. Oceans two three zero four seven. And they got their closed up ramp right there coming to the beach.
Okay, the signs are down, but it looks like they've extended it with a wood stairwell. And never fixed this stairwell. One's better than none. Oh yeah, this was the place that that black was coming out of that vents. I don't know what they're pumping out. Pretty nasty looking. I think I was watching them paint it last time. I don't know if they were painting it, it didn't stick at this point. What is it, copper? I guess it just seemed that old paint. Here's your vertical stairwell, and that's a 3023 South Atlantic. Thirteen South Atlantic, and they've got a good stairwell. Looks like all they have to do is put a guardrail made out of wood, and they're back in business. And even the GoPro's getting hot. It's used to 93 degree weather in uh, March. Park in the golf cart. Shade is feeling good. It looks like instead of using wood to finish the stairs, they actually got aluminum. Looks like a prefab. cement stairs were standing out in the air and now they got wood to finish it up and guardrail all the way up. Two nine eight seven. They got the last few steps being vertical, also. Could cut that off and finish it off with some wood and be back in business. Next time a storm comes and it breaks the wood, you just replace the wood.
Well, this is looking like a fresh cement pour. So they've got the stairs all brand new up to the landing. Yep, I guess they're waiting for it to dry good before they open it. And of course, railing would be nice. don't see an address to report the address Two nine four seven South Atlantic. Nice building. Both of them are missing guardrail down at the bottom of the steps, but they got the steps. Sounds like an easy fix. Somebody's fishing on the beach. Mmm, breeze feels good. We had one hellacious lightning storm last night. Still got the stairwell, but they didn't fix the guardrail. Coming down. That's at 2937 South Atlantic. like we're coming down to that wood uh, ramp stairwell that uh, was busted up it looks like there's no action to fixing that Kermit the Fall Green pickup truck. Wow. Can't say I've ever seen one of them before. Yep. Pretty much the same as what it's been from December to now. Coming up to the water tubes, they're orange, big long bags, they fill them up with salt water, tie them down, and that is the guard from keeping the sand getting washed away, it makes a barrier, temporary battery, <laughs> hope it don't become permanent. We're at 2901 South Atlantic, and the building next to it was quick on the draw to do what they could to repair and to stop it. They put those tarp bags in, they put sand up top. 
they were proactive. There's the valve to let the water into these things. I'm sure it's a do not touch type thing. And let's just walk a little further down and these are all private houses. This one's being built. Of course, they have property way out here to the beach and the dune. And they have done nothing as far as I could see to shore it up. No sandbags, no nothing. And there's the top of the tunnel that just reopened after being closed for a couple years and rehab. That's as far as I'm going this way. I'll go back the other way and uh, see what we can find. I don't know much about driving on the beach. Look at all this metal I found. Just a short walk. I did find a couple pieces of sand dollar. Yep. Yeah. Here, you want some sand dollars? Okay. Sand dollar? Okay, this is where we started. Let's continue on this side. We're at 3221. Ground's pretty broke up, like there's been some machinery across here. The pool has been broke up into small pieces. Or the small pieces have been put into the pool. Maybe that's a better thing. You're still undermined underneath the building. They did put some sandbags there to stop that wall from coming down any further. Something they don't have to rebuild. standard keep out danger signs all right half wall there into the next building and that's the surf club Still, their door is locked and taped. Don't look like they got a good stairwell still. Could fix it with some cement and uh, railing. I'm glad for the breeze. It's hot out here. Okay, Sea Turtle in. Logos look freshly painted, too bad the wall isn't. Somebody's digging for China. Well, here's what it looks like in here. That looks like forming for pouring cement. Got some bags here. Rebar sticking out of the ground. Yeah. Nice building. Looks like they're doing some restoration trying to fix it.
Look at the Volkswagen convertible. That's cool. You never think of it as a beach vehicle. <laughs> Unless you put the dune buggy body on it. So we're at 3247. Sea wall isn't painted. Got some cracks in the cinder block. The guardrail is still hanging in the air. I'm surprised it hasn't come down. Kudos to the builder. But the rest of it has come down and looks pretty much the same. Somebody had built a little block wall. Hello. There's more crack than it was before. There we go, you can see the tape up there, secure on the guardrail. Glass windows are still missing out of that. Looking nice. Okay, here we got a new steps coming up. I remember seeing them last time. So they're in service. We're gonna go take a look at this cracked parapet wall sticking out. much has been done here. If anything, maybe they threw a couple pieces up on top of itself. Clear the beach a little bit. And the pool is still the same. They haven't jackhammered it. Because I don't think there's any repair in that. Humpty Dumpty's gone. Looks like a pool support equipment box, and that is crushed. This looks like it was a heater for the pool. And here's a pool partially exposed. You can see the rust from the rebar. It was the old cement thing, not the old new fiberglass where they just dropped them in a hole. I wonder if I'm going to get gig for that music. <laughs> ice Cream Man. Everybody knows the Ice Cream Man song. I don't think that's copyrighted. Uh, buildings look nice. The pelicans are flying. put some sand up here it looks like that's pretty fresh and lumpy the wall is separated right here oh yeah this was the wall that was separated wasn't it didn't look right looks like they put some rebar staples in there if you can see they boxed it in on both sides and then they weld them together I don't know the strength of it but it'd be best to stay away from it <laughs> We are at 
3311 and 3315. Their landing coming down terminates. No beach access. The buildings are looking good though. fiberglass stuff yep fiberglass and there's the bags full of sand so I don't know what was in this area of pool or whatever but it looks like it's the high ground for the yellow gear when it's high tide keep it up there and they backfilled in this and it looks like they're actually growing grass on the side I don't know who's gonna mow it but they're growing grass on it. That's a good thing to keep it together. This is 3333. So they've got grass growing up. I don't know if that's burlap or they just planted in the sand. I don't think I see burlap. I just looks like they planted in the sand. Some pretty hardy stuff. Sprout it. Oh yeah, we're coming up to the pool that stands on its legs. Kudos to the person who built it putting these plowings in. walkway that would go over from falling and more fiberglass uh, bulkhead all right let's go up a little further and see what we can find this looks new That's definitely steel because I can see the rust. A little blue apartments up there, condos I guess, or rentals. Yep, so they put that there. They usually pour a concrete cap to hold them together so they don't weaver, waver right or left. It just depends whether, well, it's back further from this wall. So that might just be a temporary wall, and they're going to build something permanent right at the edge here and go right to that edge over there. That would make sense. So I don't think this one's staying.
Okay, we are at 3357. And of course, this is a vacant lot with that open section there. In fact, I think I had somebody ask me to come here and take a look at it, see what was going on. But looks like somebody's cleaned up the lot a little bit because there's a lot of debris all put into one pile now. And of course you got more fiberglass siding as a temporary. Palm trees are looking a little brown considering the soil around them is pretty much gone. but obviously in the mud and the fiberglass protection wall is up how strong is this stuff yeah it's pretty rigid what can I say impressive but it's going to need a lot of backfill and a permanent wall Well, we're up at the lifeguard station, so I'm going to call it here. Have a good one. Dark clouds coming in.